This girl right here was fired. I didn't quit. I was fired. So back in um, 2008, I was fired from Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, I've seen a lot of people make videos here on YouTube about how they quit working for Abercrombie & Fitch or why they hate Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, I've never really <laughs> seen anyone make a video um, talking about being fired from Abercrombie & Fitch, but yes, this girl right here was fired. <laughs> I didn't quit, I was fired. Um, it's always an embarrassing thing to say when you have to say, I was fired from somewhere. Um, but anyways, it's kind of helped me just listening to other people talk about their experiences with Abercrombie & Fitch um, here on YouTube. So I'm going to explain mine. Um, I guess you could call this sort of a rant. <laughs> um, just take it as it is. So one of the main problems I had with working for Abercrombie & Fitch was they have like, literally they have four managers. And that opposes a problem right there because like one manager would make out my schedule, all right? And then another one would go back and change it. So like, um, literally they would call me in the middle of the day on a day I wasn't supposed to work and be like, where are you? You're supposed to be here. And I would have a printed out schedule that said I was supposed to work an entirely different time, an entirely different day. And they would get mad at me for not coming in because they screwed up my schedule. So this happened like literally almost, I would say, weekly probably was weekly which was really annoying because it made me look bad when I wasn't showing up but obviously I didn't know to show up because they had given me the schedule was conflicted because they had too many managers so one day I was at work and there was this girl in women's one she was a very pretty girl she was just a little bigger than say me I'm pretty small and um, the district the district manager happened to be there that day, and um, he saw her in the front, and he came back, because I was in Women's 2 with some other people, and I'm sure if you worked at Abercrombie, you know what I'm talking about, Women's 1, Women's 2, blah, 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 whatever. Um, so I was in Women's 2 with some other people, and he comes back there and says, get her out of Women's 1, she is ugly. She should not be there. She's going to, like, make people not want to come in the store. Get her out of Women's One. And it was so blatantly obvious that he was talking about her. Like, I know that she had to hear that. And I was thinking, like, how bad? I mean, that would hurt your feelings so bad to, you know, just be innocently up in Women's One doing your job. And then you hear someone call you ugly. First off, this girl wasn't ugly. She was a very pretty girl like I said earlier, really sweet personality, and I just felt like so bad for her. Like, if I was her, I would have quit right there. You, that is just a horrible thing to say. And he made it so obvious, like, I know she had to hear it. She never said anything, but I know she had to hear it. And what made it worse was he grabbed me by the wrist and was like, you need to get in women's one. So it made me feel really bad because, like, he picked me to replace her. And I didn't want her to think, like, that that was my decision. Like, I didn't want to go up in Women's One. Like, I didn't want to take her place. Like, you know, her face was a lot prettier than mine. The only advantage I had was that I was thinner. And that's not an advantage. It was just an advantage because I worked at Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, like, that is so rude, and I remember feeling so bad, and it felt so awkward for the rest of the day because I, like, felt so sorry for that per poor girl. Like, how could she, you know? I mean, how embarrassing. Like, that's where you work, and you have to go back there, and yet some asshole just called you ugly, like, oh my god, that was so rude. Gotten my ear pierced, and I got it pierced, like, in this, um, middle thing, it's called the Rook, and I had just gotten it done, and, um, that is a little more expensive than getting, like, a lobe pierced or something, and, I mean, it takes forever to heal, and I knew that, so, um, I was working one day, and, you know, I always keep my hair down, I always had my hair down at work, so it's really hard to see my ears, obviously, can you see my ears? No. So I just probably went like this, and um, the manager was back there, or one of the managers was back there, and he saw my earring, and he was like, you need to take that out now. 
and I was like, I can't take it out, because honestly, I didn't know how to take it out, for one, and I just got it done. You know, I spent money on that, and you couldn't see it. I didn't see the big deal. Like, if I put my hair over it, who could see it? But he just kept demanding that I take it out, and I was saying, look, I don't know how to take it out. It's going to hurt. I can't get it out. I don't know how. So, um, he, like, actually grabbed me. He touched me. He touched me. He grabbed my ear and, like, pulled at it and, and like, tried to take it out himself. And that made me really, really mad. I don't feel like you should ever put your hands on an employee that's taking it way too far. Do not try to physically remove my earring from my ear. So I was like, you know, don't touch me. Like, I got an attitude because you don't put your hands on an employee. Like, that just really upset me. And I feel like when I got the attitude with him, that's when he kind of, like, started to just dislike me. And he sort of just held a grudge upon me, you know, after that point. So the reason I got fired was um, I was supposed to work Christmas Eve, and I didn't know I was supposed to work Christmas Eve. And the reason for that is because I had arranged my schedule just to work evenings. Um, I was in college at the time, so it was really hard for me to work during the day. I had a lot of shit to do, so I couldn't work. Um, during the day, so I had asked to specifically have evenings. And they said that was fine, blah, 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 whatever, but, you know, it's never fine at Abercrombie because someone screws up the schedule. So, um, I usually did work Wednesdays, and Christmas Eve fell on a Wednesday. Um, so, like, but the thing was, the mall closed at, um, 6 o'clock, and I wasn't, like, I, my work time was to come in at 5 that was my schedule, 5 to 10. So, since the mall closed at 6, like, I really didn't think I would work an hour and that I'd need to come in, so I didn't call or anything to make sure, which that is my fault. I realize not calling, that's my bad, you know? I mean, whatever. So I didn't call, and that's what got me fired. Like, because I didn't come in for an hour on Christmas Eve. Um, and I didn't even know I was fired until, like, I went in after Christmas to get my schedule. And one of the other employees said, uh, you're, you've been taken off the schedule, you're fired. And I didn't even hear this from a manager, I got no phone call, um, I got nothing. Like, I, I had to find out from another employee, and that, to me, is just completely unprofessional. Um, that's why I don't like Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, I think the, the manager got mad because, you know, I got an attitude when he tried to pull out my earring, but who wouldn't? Like, that's, what are you doing, dude? And, um, I mean, I can say that the only good that came from Abercrombie and Fitch was that I did meet a lot of nice people, and a lot of the employees, you know, my other fellow employees were really nice, and I did have a lot of friends there, so when I got fired, it sucked because, you know, I wasn't going to get to see them anymore. And, um, I wasn't an Abercrombie calendar. <laughs> it's not a big deal because it was just like a calendar they put in the manager's office, but still it was kind of cool because I was... I got to be in a calendar, um, and I can say, hey, I was an Abercrombie calendar, like, if I do nothing in my life, you know, that of any importance, I can say, well, I was not an Abercrombie calendar. It wasn't a big deal, but I still was. But anyways, so I don't know if, if any of you guys have had a similar experience if you work there with the scheduling or with just people being stupid or just drama. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.